Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley and I'm an architect in Ontario. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about PhD programs in architecture within Canada. So there are currently eight universities within Canada that offer PhD programs. And so by the end of the video, you're gonna have an understanding of what those eight universities are. We're also gonna talk about the degree itself, the term of which the program starts. We're gonna get into the application deadline Lines, the application materials and the application requirements for each program. So if you're interested, let's get started. So within Canada, there are currently eight universities that offer PhD programs within architecture. And let's start with number one, and that is Carleton University. Carleton University offers a PhD in architecture and upon graduating, the degree would be a doctor of philosophy in architecture. The program length is about five years to complete. Now it's important to note that not everyone gets it done in five years. I know a lot of students and graduates end up taking a bit longer and they extend it a bit further out. So it's also important to know and keep in mind when you're expected. So the maximum time you're allowed to complete your PhD because a lot of programs and schools don't want you to extend it too long as well, which is understandable as well. So something to keep in mind and the entry term is fall and the application deadline is actually January 15. And so for the application itself, the following are the application documents that you need, but also remember there might be additional application documents that you need that I'm not listing here. So it's important to make sure to check out the website for the program and I'll be including a link down below so you can check it out a little bit more in detail. But first, you do need to have an online application form, you need transcripts, you need reference letters, you need a statement of intent, you need a CV slash resume, you also need a writing samples, you need a preference form, and they'll also explain what that means. And of course, if you wanna get a more of an understanding of what each application requirement means, then I would also recommend to check out the website as well and a portfolio and they have requirements for the portfolio as well. And you also need to have an application fee. And that application fee is about $110 Canadian. And so that would be basically all of your application documents that you would need. And of course, if English is not your first language, you're gonna to have to do also an English proficiency test. And the scores requirements are also listed on the website. Number two, University of Calgary. So the University of Calgary offers a PhD in environmental design, and they also offer a doctor of design. So let's start first with the PhD in environmental design. So the degree upon graduating would be a degree of philosophy in environmental design. The length of the program is four years and you have to maintain a full-time registration status. The entry of the term starts in fall. The application deadline is they're accepting applicants between September 1st and February 1st. And the following are the application materials. You need an online application form, transcripts, an application fee of 125 Canadian dollars for Canadian citizens and permanent residents. If you are an international student, it is $145 Canadian. I don't like how some schools do up the price for the application fees if you are an international student, it's unfortunate. Um, you also do need to have a portfolio, examples of writing, references, you need at least two references, and the deadline for the references is one week after the application deadline, so they are uh, the deadline is February 8th, so it's also important to note that some schools have one date for all of the materials and others do have separate deadlines for separate items. So always pay attention and make sure to read all of the requirements in detail and check out the website. And then you do need to do a research proposal because of course a PhD is also thesis focused and you need to have a CV and resume. So this is for the PhD in environmental design, which is offered at the University of Calgary. And for the second PhD program that Calgary University offers, they also offer the Doctor of Design. And so for the Doctor of Design, that's basically the degree, and it's about a three year length program, which I have to say is very appealing. Um, and they are targeting professionals in the industry, which I thought was really interesting. So if you're interested to get to know more about the program, I would check out the website. 
And so I have to say it's very nice that it's only three years and the application, and of course you could extend it, but it's nice to know that the base is three years. Um, and then the application deadline is they accept applicants from September 1st through February 28th. The application materials are as follows. You need to have an application form, an application fee, which is $125 Canadian for Canadian citizens and permanent residents and international students. Unfortunately, it is $145 Canadian dollars. You also have transcripts that are required, a portfolio, references, minimum of two references, a research proposal, a curriculum, and a curriculum summary, which is basically a summary of your experiences in education, work, volunteering in other relevant areas. And then if English is not your first language and your degree was not completed in English and there's a whole set of requirements, if they are applicable to you, you may need to do an English language proficiency. And they have specific requirements on the scores that you would need for those tests. So I would make sure to check those out. And there might be additional requirements. Applicants may be required to participate in a formal interview as well. In terms of application requirements, you need to have a minimum education. So for the minimum education, you need a professional degree from an accredited school. And you also need to have a professional experience of five to seven years of professional experience in your discipline. And again, they are targeting professionals which I think is actually very interesting. So that professional experience does become a requirement. And for your GPA, you do need to have a minimum of 3.5 GPA on a 4.0 point system over the past two years of full-time study, a minimum of 10 full course equivalents or 60 units of the undergraduate degree. And of course, you need to have uh, English language proficiency scores and tests if your primary language is not English and you may need to fulfill the English language proficiency requirement. Now let's jump into the third university and the third university offering a PhD program is the University of Manitoba. So University of Manitoba offers a PhD in design and planning. The degree upon graduating is the degree of philosophy in design and planning. The length of the program is four to six years. So again, I guess that depends on how you decide to complete everything but you're looking at four to six years. It starts in the fall. The application deadline is January 10th and applications are open early in April. In terms of the application materials, you need to have an application form, an application fee of 100 Canadian dollars. And I didn't see anything that said that uh, international students have a different price versus Canadian citizens and uh, permanent residents but make sure to check it out if that is correct. You also need letters of recommendation. You need three, CV as well, outlining academic credentials, work experience, research publications, presentations, awards, and related accomplishments. You need to have a portfolio. You need to have research proposal and study rationale. You need to have a statement of funding indicating government scholarships, fellowships, awards, personal support, and or other funds provided through a possible advisor. You need to have a letter, an email confirmation is acceptable, of an agreement with proposed advisor who has agreed to serve you as your advisor. And of course, if English is not your first language and they do outline the requirements that you would need to have a language proficiency test as well. And they also outline the scores that you would need to have as minimum scores for acceptance. In terms of the application requirements, for the minimum education, you need to have a master's degree in architecture, city planning, environmental design, interior design, landscape architecture, or a relevant field from a recognized institution. In terms of professional and educational experience, you need to have evidence of appropriate research capabilities. For example, a master's thesis, or something of that nature. You need to have a record of appropriate experience in professional practice, post-secondary teaching and or other accomplishments and activities. In terms of the GPA, you need to have an accumulative uh, GPA of 3.5 or equivalent in the last two years of full-time university study 
and that would be around 60 credit hours. And the minimum scores for acceptance into the program for the English language proficiency, they're all listed online. I didn't wanna go through them for each program because this video would get very lengthy. So the fourth university is McGill University. McGill University offers a PhD in architecture and the degree upon graduating is the Doctor of Philosophy in Architecture. I couldn't quite get the years of the length of the program, but it does start in the fall. The application deadline is January 15. The application materials include an application form, an application fee of $125.71 Canadian. You do need to provide an, an overview of your experience, your qualifications, including employment, academic credentials, publications, contributions, and significant awards. You need to also provide transcripts, letters of reference to, research proposals, samples of written work, and of course, you need to have an English language proficiency if your mother tongue is not English, and they also set out the requirements in terms of test scores and when it's appropriate or when it's a requirement for a specific applicant. In terms of the application requirements, you need to have a minimum education, candidates with a high standing in McGill's Master of Architecture program or post-professional or who hold an equivalent degree from another university are eligible to apply to the program and they have specific outlines on the website in terms of the minimum education requirements which I would recommend you to check it out on the website and there's a link down below. University number five is University of Montreal. Now because Canada has two official languages, English and French, the University of Montreal, the program, the PhD program is offered in French. And number six is University of Nouvelle, which is also in Quebec and it's also in French. And the PhD program in architecture is also in French. I, my French, even though I did study French in school, is not quite stable or solid for me to translate and provide information about it. But if you are looking for a French equivalent of a PhD program, I would definitely check out University of Montreal and University of Nouvelle and links are down below for more information. Number seven, University of Toronto. The University of Toronto offers a Doctor of Philosophy in Architecture, Landscape and Design and the program is about four years. The term starts in the fall. The application deadline is January 4, and the January 4 application deadline is only for the application payment. And then in January 10th, all the supporting documents are due. So they've broken it up into two. So in terms of the application materials, you need to have an application form, an application fee. You need to have writing sample, and they provide specific requirements for that on their website, recommendation letters, you need three. You also need to have a research topic proposal, portfolio, and you also need to have English proficiency test if English is not your first language, and if you have not completed an undergraduate or graduate degree from a recognized form institution where English is the language of instruction, and they outline those requirements and the test scores needed for entry. And then in terms of the minimum education, you need a professional degree in design discipline, uh, which is highly desirable in order to get into the program. But applicants with a master's degree in a related discipline in humanities and social sciences may be considered. If you want more information, I would definitely recommend checking out the website. In terms of the GPA, you need an A minus average in your master's for acceptance into the program. So now let's jump into university number eight. So university number eight is Ryerson University. They offer a doctor of philosophy in building science. So this is a bit more technical and the degree is a doctor of philosophy in building science. The program is three years. It starts in the fall. The application deadline for first consideration is January 18th. And the application materials include you need to connect with a supervisor. And to find a supervisor with research interests similar to yours that align with what you're looking into doing, you would visit the faculty page and you can take a look and see what all the faculty and their research is all about, and then see what would align with your research and with your interest. So there's a list of the building science faculty members, and you can 
can look at which ones you wish to work with. And so to be admitted into the program at Ryerson for the PhD program, you have to confirm a supervisor. And so it's your responsibility to find a faculty member who agrees to supervise your graduate research work. And number two, an application form, which you would do uh, via the Ontario University's Application Centre. And then you have also a statement of interest, a resume slash CV, recommendation letters, you need at least two, you need transcripts and the English language proficiency test as well. And again, if you're looking and you're unsure if you need to provide a test, I would check out and look at the requirements on the website and I'll include a link down below. In terms of the application requirements, you need a minimum education. You need a master's degree in building science, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, or related applied science field. And in terms of GPA, you need a minimum of a 3.33 over a 4.33, which is about a B plus or equivalent in your master's program. And the English proficiency minimum test scores are also listed in the website and links are down below. If you got a lot of value out of this video, I'd make sure to like the video. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can do that here. And if you'd like to learn more about the top universities for architecture in Canada, I would recommend this video here. I hope to see you on the next video. Until then, bye.